What's up guys on YouTube, NGS here, and I'm back for vlog number 39. Um, it is Wednesday, August, uh, I don't really know anymore, <laughs> because you know I'm kind of dazed at the moment. It's another gloomy day. I swear the summer has been always gloomy, all the time, and like, it hasn't really been sun. It's probably due to global warming or something. I'm sorry if um, you hear a loud noise in the video, that's my Xbox, my god, out of all the three next-gen consoles, that's the loudest thing in the world. And I don't know, I'm not bashing on the Xbox, I love the Xbox, but there are a lot of things I hate about it. I'm gonna do a video on the console wars, it's gonna be three parts, first part Wii, second part Xbox, third part Sony, because I love all three of the next-gen consoles, but then they have things that suck. And I just hate fanboys of the system. I'm not a fanboy. I love all consoles equally. And then just like, like, hello, micro shit nerds or whatever. And they just keep bashing on the Xbox. Like, why can't you like a system without people bashing you just because you like that? Like, in general, like, why can't you like something without someone else liking it? I mean, everyone won't agree on the same thing. Like, let's just, like, my friend, he loved Dragon Ball Evolution, strangely. But I'm not going to try to convince him to say, oh, that movie sucked. That's his own opinion on it. And, like, even you can't send your own opinions on YouTube, that's kind of strange. And someone has just sent me a text message. I got some stuff to talk about in the vlog. Like, the first thing I want to say is I want to thank everyone for watching my, um, Naruto Uzumaki Chronicles review. Um, people said it was funny. I was kind of making it funny. Like, I just went along with it and, you know, yeah, I, don't, I really didn't like that game. One of the worst ones along with Path of the Ninja for DS. This one's kind of a shout out to one of my friends. Um, he's, he's been one of my best friends all summer and his name on YouTube was Dark Shadow 792 but recently his account well he had an account before that where he made AMVs and all that stuff and all the cool stuff he had like 3,000 subscribers then his account got suspended he made another one where he only had 10 subscribers because there was a long gap from when he made his first account to his second account um, because when I made my when Qmon 2 got suspended I immediately went onto this account the next day so people would find me, but there, he did a long gap, so that's why people forgot him. So he made another account, he only had 10 subscribers, and he did rants on Disney and stuff and how they suck, and apparently Disney deleted his account for that, and I'm like, that doesn't make sense. It, you can have your own opinion on stuff on YouTube. I mean, I see YouTube partners who make rants on um, corporations and stuff, and they don't get their accounts suspended, probably because they're like... Uh, partner and they don't want to get they don't want them to get suspended and stuff and speaking of suspended um, I gotta really talk about that in the video because I'm really pissed on what happened another thing I want to talk about is ways that you can buy anime without buying the DVDs because there were some people complaining that the anime industry rips us off by charging us $40 for 13 episodes of One Piece well actually it's actually cheaper in America to buy anime than it is in Japan because um, I'll make this easier for any of you import gamers who buy import games like Get Through Ninja Tyson 4, um, Excel 2 and stuff. You know that if you buy them from PlayAsia or sometimes eBay when they first come out, they're $65. Yeah, that, that's not, that's not, they're not ripping you off. That's actually how much they cost in Japan, $65 for a game. And that's why the industry is so big in Japan because there are fans in Japan who are willing to spend their money to buy anime stuff because it's expensive. Cosplay stuff is expensive. Like some like premium tailored outfits can run for two hundred dollars in some cases. Um, so you know, if you want to, if there there are two types of fans. There's a fan who's just a casual anime fan who buys the DVDs. That's what I am. I'm not like a cosplay person. I just buy some of the DVDs and I don't look up Naruto every day. I mean, I only I barely know what's going on in the manga because I don't really read Naruto anymore. I don't really read anime anymore either. And then there's like um, overzealous fans who are willing to spend money to buy all the stuff they want. Those are the type of fans who are helping the industry. And people who complain anime is too expensive. Actually, if you go to the right places and shop at the right times, you can get anime for cheap. Like buying from the right stuff catalog, like every Thursday they have sales on everything. Like, um, let me see, uh, just a normal like Yu Hakusho box set that runs for 20 bucks on Best Buy, you can get it for probably 15 and stuff. And go to Walmart, you can find most mainstream anime like One Piece, DBZ, Naruto, Cowboy Bebop, um, which I just got into actually, I'm gonna buy the box set, which is really awesome, I'm the last person to get into that show. Um, and you can find a lot of anime at Walmart for cheaper, like, 
Uh, this box set, like the first half of the DBZ box sets, like one, two, three, and four, or so they're about you know twenty to thirty, which is a good deal in my opinion, because you're getting like forty episodes, and you can also buy from iTunes. They have really good deals. The anime is only two bucks an episode because if you buy singles, that's like twenty bucks for three episodes, and each episode's like seven dollars, and the reason why it's 20 bucks is because they got to make the disc, they got to make the case, Japanese audio feature, subtitles, um, all that stuff in the making that somehow rounds the other $14. <laughs> so that's it. Just buying it from iTunes, just use your parents' credit card, ask them. You can buy tons of anime off there, which is a really cool thing. Also, you can buy from Xbox, the marketplace. They have a lot of anime. They got Naruto, Afro Samurai. I think they're starting to put a lot of other anime onto it. Um, but there are tons of anime, Death Note, Bleach, a lot of anime, you guys. So, you really have a lot of options in America to buy anime. I know in some other countries, you don't have a lot of options, but there's always eBay. I mean, you just gotta shop. I know eBay people, sometimes they're bootlegs, but you just gotta shop around right. People have been saying that, what about if you watch from Crunchyroll or watch from the websites like Viz who put Naruto on? Well, the, here's the deal. When it comes to the anime industry dying, there are two parts to it. Fan subs and illegal uploads and downloads, that's about 80% of the cause. The other 20%, in my opinion, is the industry, like Funimation stuff, because they put their products online for free instead of having people buy it just to keep fans inside. But if you sub all of the Naruto Shippuden episodes on Viz.com and then you release the DVDs, most people are just going to watch it subbed online because sometimes they prefer subs because they're more sub likers for Naruto then there are dub likers apparently because yeah but um yeah so th that's what I blame the industry on they put their stuff online for free like Crunchyroll you have to have a subscription like so you can get it up front like Kakashi Gaiden um if you're a subscriber to that you get it the first day it comes out less than 12 hours after it's out and then you have to wait a week so, and then the ma only the mainstream people can watch it so you know that's kinda messed up I'd be okay if it was a full subscription website where you can get all that stuff by paying I don't know five bucks a month or maybe stuff like that um, so yeah that's what I think they should have done instead of making it all free um, so those are ways you can just buy anime and stuff like, and there are other ways if you don't want to fully buy the anime, if you want to try it before you buy it, you don't have to watch it online, you can rent it from Blockbuster, Netflix, um, the marketplace is really cheap on Xbox, the, I think the PlayStation Network maybe has, I don't know, and other stuff, but there are tons of ways, you guys. So let's move on to the bigger topic in this video, um, recently I was online and I saw a video for Watch Now and I'm like, Team 4 Star got suspended recently by Toy Animation. And I'm like, wait, what the hell? They got suspended? How? They had almost 100,000 subscribers, and they got suspended. I think this is going back to the whole anime pirating and the economy that was on CNN News. And now probably the big anime companies want to take note to that and like, okay, we got to delete all the stuff on YouTube. So they're just deleting anything that has to do with anime, like DBZ Bridged, um, Little Karibo got suspended a couple times, which kind of sucks. But the thing that... People think about a bridge is like you're not watching the whole episode, they're just poking fun at it. It's like a comedy, it's a spoof basically. And I have no problem with that, but the anime industries are like, no, our stuff's online, we gotta take it down. And you know, that kind of sucks they got suspended because they worked hard on all those episodes, they were close to 100,000 subscribers. I mean, that's messed up. Um, I hope they get their account back because they made really awesome episodes. They're probably gonna start season two soon, and they're working on it right now. And what I really don't get is how people complain about Lenny Pator like, I think that's how you pronounce his name, that he's not uploading any Yu Yu Hakusho bridged episodes. Well, he's probably got his mind full with other stuff, like, um, Team Four Star. He's probably working on the episodes right now, but you probably, we don't probably know. And so, you know, they need a break after a while. They can't keep putting episodes every day. They have to write ideas. They have to dub the stuff and put it all together. It can take, like, weeks to do that stuff. So I really don't care how long it's going to take them to make new episodes. I mean, I'm just happy that they're still doing episodes. I don't care if it takes, like, three months. I'll be happy in the end. And uh, that's what most people don't get because they want it now. They want instant gratification. And that's one of the reasons why people watch fan subs because it's online in less than, like, a day. And that's what sucks. And another one of my friends are saying, what is your policy on AMVs? In my opinion, AMVs, I'm fine with AMVs because AMVs are people's hard work 
and stuff, and they use anime clips and stuff, and music, there are people who would argue, like, the music industry more than the anime industry because you're using their music in it, like Linkin Park and all that stuff, you're using their music, and that's why they would not like AMVs. I know now, instead of deleting your video, I think they mute it instead, and it's always Warner Media Group or whatever. In my opinion, I like AMVs. I mean, I don't watch AMVs. I've only seen probably, like, two in my life. Um... But I'm okay with AMVs. The anime industry would probably say no, and the music industry would say no. And um, to clarify this, um, I was watching Greg Ayers' fan sub panel video where, like, you guys know the anime Beck, um, how the, they sing and stuff. Apparently, I don't, I don't really know. I, I barely know about it. But um, Funimation made AMVs of the songs, which they were gonna host on the website for Beck. But Kodansha, the people who own the Beck anime, they said, no, we're not going to put this stuff online because they're terrified of the internet because someone's going to steal it and stuff and put it online because the Japanese are afraid if there's, because they lose money in the end. So, so this is the end of vlog number 39, you guys. Um, I'm going to be making more videos soon. I've got to get back to playing um, Nazi Zombies because I paused it and then I'm, I'm doing it on solo to see how far I can get. So thanks for watching my videos, you guys. Catch you guys later.